there. So sorry about the, the close up angle. This is the best angle I figured out so far. So last time we talked, I was talking about a dab pose. Sorry, you all know my kitty cat, Miss Posey over here. Anyway, she wants to be part of everything these days. Anyways, so oh, my goodness, I'm gonna have to hold her while I talk about this, I guess. She hates being held, so fun. But anyways, so the last time we did this, I was talking about adapting exercises to fit your needs as someone with a muscle disease. So I wanted to share with you what the A in ADAPT stands for, for me, accessibility. So, app, hey, hey, girl, you're okay. Yeah, it's okay, don't bite me. That's not very nice. No, it's not. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, working from home, the pet edition, right? Anyways, so, a stands for accessible, making sure an exercise is accessible to you. And one of the things you might be wondering is how, how do you know if it's, if it's accessible? Like, what do you mean by that? Well, I'll tell you. So, like for me, I know I have a really rough time running, so I'm not going to go like sign up for a marathon because at the shape I'm in right now, definitely not going to be able to run a mile or five, <laughs> let alone, you know, so like things like that, more realistically for me, squats. Yes, I can do squats. I do have to adapt them. I'll show you ways how I adapt them in another video, but like I know I have to look at like, will I hurt myself doing this or can I safely modify it to me somehow? So there's that. For someone like in a wheelchair, per se, you're not going to do anything that involves walking. I mean, you might like a little bit with bars and stuff or a walker, like a stander, but you're not going to set out to do anything that is out of reach for you and like on anything unreasonable. So that's just what I mean by making sure it's accessible. I'm trying to think of some other examples. So, let's see, lunges, there's some ways to sort of adapt lunges. I'll show, I'll share my knowledge of that with you guys for anyone that's interested. Oh, so like doing these, I'm totally blanking on what they're called, but like with dumbbells, like if you can't raise your arms over your head, then you're probably not going to do anything like that. You might do like half ones and see how far you can get your arms up or like other things like this with your arms, but you're not going to set out to do something that is not accessible to you because of where you're at yet. You just physically can't do it right now. So that's what uh, making sure an, an exercise is accessible to you is. If you don't know if something's accessible, then I highly recommend meeting with like a physical therapist, a personal trainer, someone, so you know, someone in the fitness industry that has a lot of knowledge and talking it out. I mean, I, I highly recommend that anyway for if you are wanting to exercise and get started and stuff. Just, I do know I've had some experiences with some physical therapists that have not been great. So it's important to look around if, you know, if, see if you feel like it's a good fit. If not, there are, are other options. Just saying. So anyway, yeah, A, accessible. Hope that helps. And I look forward to more videos soon. Hopefully also finding a better setup when the next time all my roommates are gone too, when it's nice and quiet. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sure a lot of you probably have questions, whether it be related to the topic of this video or something else. Feel free to drop those in the comments. I will try to do a video around everyone's questions. And anyway, have a great, have a great weekend, everyone.